Today on Football Analyzed, FC Bayern are one of the best teams of all time. This season, they have played some very enthralling football. Today, we are breaking down exactly what they do well and what they need to fix. This is Tactical Analysis by Football Analyzed. Make sure to like and subscribe for high-quality football analysis posted Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Let's go! Firstly, the talent, because obviously a large part of Bayern's playstyle under Thomas Tuchel is the sheer amount of talent they possess. In attack, Starmer and Harry Kane, stunning prospect Jamal Musiala, Leroy Sané, Thomas Muller, Kingsley Coman and Serge Gnabry are the usual starters. In the midfield, Leon Goretzka and Comrade Lima usually start. In defence, Kim Min Jae, Eric Dyer, Mateus De Ligt, Alfonso Davies, Masraoui, Upper Meccano, Joshua Kimmich and Rafael Guerrero play the matches, with Neuer in goal. Bayern have basically stuck with one formation this entire season. They have almost always lined up in a 4-2-3-1. This formation has many pros, but unfortunately, as we have seen in their suboptimal performances this year, many cons as well. This formation allows for, allows for blind attacking brilliance. Bayern flood numbers forward and play perfect balls into the box, where Harry Kane is almost always there to finish. This formation gives Harry Kane the service he needs and deserves to flourish. This has resulted in an unhuman-like 31 goals already in his first season as a Bavarian. The pace Leroy Sané has is utilised perfectly where he can receive quality passes from the deeper midfielders and Jamal Musiala has the space he needs to display his dribbling genius. Often, the wide midfielders narrow down and tuck in, allowing for very powerful bolts to be made into the attacking third by the fullbacks, especially Alfonso Davies with his electric pace. But as I said before, this formation certainly comes with its downsides and we have seen that this year, with Bayern losing many very important domestic games and not looking good to win the Bundesliga for the first time in over a decade. The blind attacking brilliance I mentioned earlier isn't necessarily all it's cracked up to be. The three attacking midfielders flood the box and stay very high up the pitch, which leaves Bayern very overcommitted if they lose the ball, with only two midfielders in the defensive line, which is often reduced to two whilst the fullbacks are attacking. This has led to an uncharacteristic concession of goals against smaller teams for Bayern. On top of this, the midfield is left quite exposed to the centre, as there is no proper central midfielder and we aren't going to see Thomas Muller dropping into that position anytime soon. All of these defensive deficiencies have led to far too many goals being conceded and they recently lost a Classica, where they looked extensively lacklustre in defence. How do Bayern score their goals? Bayern score a lot of goals. In the Bundesliga alone, they have netted 78 times this year, the most of any German club. Harry Kane is a master at finishing. The service he gets is unreal because of the numbers helping out. A typical Bayern goal would look like a ball being played through the midfield and up to Sané or Musiala. After the other four attacking players have swarmed into the box, a ball will be played in and Harry Kane will likely finish. To summarise, Bayern play insanely attacking football. They score so many goals and Harry Kane has 31 goals this year. But their attacking dreams have left plenty of room for defensive nightmares. Bayern have lost five games in the Bundesliga this year, and this is coming from and this has come from the insane amount of space being left on the pitch, defended by only three to four players, being, being utilized by opponents as a counter-attacking fast track. In my opinion, if more players were left to defend and they didn't commit so heavily in attack, Bayern would be far, far better off. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Which team next? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to Football Analyzed for expert football analysis posted Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you guys in the next one.